Hey guys, MLB. And uh, turns out you the next broken no test is right the there. First hey, I wanted to show, I found a companion cube here. I didn't find that in my original playthrough. Guys, That's cool, I can no see a little heart on it. Might be hard to see though. Installed. It should be really easy to reprogram them to destroy Aegis instead of humans. If we go down to a turret production line, we might be able to produce friendly turrets. Okay, this test has one thing that I do not understand what it's used for. First of all, let's get over there and I will show you. This button. I don't understand what it's for. I never used it when I solved the test. And I'll show you how I solved this test. And it doesn't involve using this. I don't know what it's for, I don't know why it's here. I'm- I just thought it was a red herring, so yeah. Let's look at this. First of all, we've got some cubes around here that we want to investigate how to get. That one's set to auto-respawn. Good. Looks like we can shoot that from out here. So yeah, this cube's easy to get. You just take the funnel and get it to come to you. Then, we gotta figure out how to get it on this side. Which is actually pretty simple. Portal there, portal here, and that Emancipation Grill does not exist. Now that makes this useful to us. Now I can get up here. And, uh, there's an Emancipation Girl here. What- what? What the heck? Okay, I've never seen this happen before. Anyway, there's an Emancipation Girl up here. That, uh... Let you just turn it off permanently. Not even sure why I was here. Just to stop you from shooting at these portal surfaces. But, uh, yeah. Now we have a laser cube up here. And with this laser cube... can pretty much do anything we want. So really, we just have to get this cube and we're home free. Because we don't need the excursion funnel anymore. That's pretty much it. Let's see, where did this want us to put it? I don't remember. Oh right, on that button. Yeah, that's not hard. I just forgot that there's an extra step involved here. So, uh, first of all, we want to get ourselves to get back over here. And you'll see there's portal surfaces back there that we can use. All we need to do is put the cube there, and we're good. in this track. I heard that it was made by two particularly cruel scientists. See, I don't understand that message because... As you saw, we did not use this button. This button does not get used. Ever. At all. Not at all. I don't understand why this button is here. So that's probably why this got rated hard, is because people tried to incorporate it into the test. People will often assume as is the portal tradition, that every testing element has a purpose. And so, people probably found this test difficult, because they were trying to figure out what the purpose of this was. And, to be honest, I have no idea. I honestly don't know what the purpose of that is, other than to be a red herring. And, uh, yeah, that's actually an issue in my opinion. I don't think that there should be red herrings in a puzzle game like this. Yeah, just... 
Yeah, I don't know what was going on here. I solved without using it, I just did it again for y'all on camera. Thanks for watching, I will see you at the next broken test. Goodbye!